The National Transport Authority is delighted to provide the funding to Bus Erin to enable it to purchase three hydrogen-fueled double-deck buses. These buses are part of our journey towards reducing our carbon emissions on our public transport fleet. It's part of our strategy to provide a zero emission fleet across all our public transport services. Bus Erin are absolutely delighted to be part of a pilot that we're launching in conjunction with the National Transport Authority for three double-deck hydrogen fuel cell vehicles that are going to be deployed. This is all part of our effort to provide a cleaner, greener transport solution for the customers. From a customer point of view, our customers will notice that it is a quieter drive, almost noiseless in fact. From a refuelling point of view, it's economical because it only takes about 10 minutes to refuel this particular bus. And from a range point of view, it can deliver up to 400 kilometres and that's particularly relevant for the types of routes we serve. From a customer perspective, it's going to offer the same levels of comfort that people have come to expect from us. And it's a very nice, comfortable bus to drive, very smooth acceleration and braking, so the drivers will feel very comfortable in this as well. We are targeting for half of our vehicles to be zero emissions by 2030, with the remainder at low or ultra-low emission levels. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and can be produced in a number of ways. The buses will be fuelled by clean hydrogen produced by BOC at their electrolyzer in Dublin. The process extracts hydrogen from water with no emissions and is currently the only way to produce zero carbon hydrogen. The hydrogen is stored in fuel tanks on board the double-decker bus and this hydrogen fuel combines with oxygen in the air to create the electricity that drives the bus. The only emissions from this bus is water in the form of droplets or vapour. I'm looking forward to joining some of the very first customers who will be taking their first trips on a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle 